Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Python enthusiasts, today we are delving into the fascinating world of webhooks in Python in 2024. Whether you are working on web applications or automation scripts, understanding how to use webhooks can supercharge your projects. Stick around and let's dive into the Pythonic godness of webhook. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, to get started with this video, we have to understand first what is a webhook. So you might have seen webhook in a lot of places, mentioned in your app, settings, and wondered if there is something you should use or not. The answer is probably yes, because webhook is one way that apps can send automated messages or information to other apps. It's how PayPal, for example, tells your accounting app when your clients pay you, how to allow your routes phone calls to your number and how WooCommerce can notify you about new orders in Slack. There are simple ways your online accounts can speak to each other and get notified automatically when something new happens. In many cases, you will need to know how to use webhooks if you want to automatically push data from one app to another. So basically, we've made dozens of videos in this like channel exactly on how for example to use or how to connect for example an app with another like there was infinite amount of topics that we have made uh, in the, our channel and these t are like these topics are in behind the scenes in the back end of the servers but they are basically just using webhooks because webhooks is basically how an app can be connected to the other app it is how they can talk to each other so here we have in this video how to use webhook and like basically with python so here guys in this specific video we are going to go through this uh, specific an article that talks about and explains it all. So here we are unlock the power of webhooks, a guide to understanding and implementing them with Python. So here we already know how webhooks work and uh, now we want to basically connect it with Python. So the Python programming language is widely used to create websites, applications, automated operations, and data analysis. This general purpose programming language is highly versatile and can be used to develop a wide variety of applications. This versatility combined with ease of learning has made it one of the most popular programming languages today. Numerous software libraries are available for data analysis, visualization, and machine learning. These include NumPy, and uh, Skype and Mat pl plot type. So here we are going to talk about integration between Python and a webhook. Uh, is as simple as creating web service using a framework like Flask. There are also other frameworks like Django and others. So the first step to install Flask on your Python environment, then create a web service. A JSON request containing data is submitted by the client and printed by the initialized Flask application. Once the web service has been created, all that's left to do is to run the Flask server. Applications such as GitLab and Slack offer a user interface for registering webhook URLs. So the client applications can also offer webhook authentication methods such as sending a token or secret question or an API. So Python webhook integration offers several advantages. It enables real-time updates with excellent performance, high availability from any mobile or desktop device, and messages and message automation to meet specific needs. So here are basically the ways to use uh, webhooks in Python. So there we go. Now we just knew about uh, webhook in Python and how to actually integrate them and what we can do together. So here this is how webhooks work so basically now we are going to connect them together so here we have the prerequisites so as we said at the beginning we need flask so just simply go to your terminal for example terminal and write pip install flask this will only work guys in case you had uh, like python already in your pc you can if it doesn't work simply go to your PowerShell and do pip install flask 
and it might work but as you can see it didn't work because I don't have uh, like even though here at the end it's not gonna actually work as you can see this is the error and as you can see my pip is uh, all like version so I need to update it etc etc so you need to first get your Python ready for case for example in my case I simply have to click like right here I will write something like upgrade pip and it should be uh, renewed but again I don't have Python so this command will not be working then after I did that you simply have to create a webhook receiver so here's a basic example for webhook receiver using flask so just create a new project on flask and here as you can see from flask import flask request so json jsonify app equals flask name just give it a name and then you simply I mean you can simply just copy all of this and here the best thing about that website is it gives you like a comment between the lines of code so you can understand what this code is doing and how does it work exactly so you can manage to understand what you are working with so here we go this is the code as you can see and here in this example they are going to import flask and create flask web application the final route slash web hack that listens for HTTP post request when a post request is received at slash web hook the webhook receiver function is called inside webhook receiver they extract the json data from the request using request chat json and you can customize the processing logic in this function based on the data you receive in this example they simply print the data and return a success response so here there is like the testing of webhook receiver how we can test it so simply just go to your local host and here as you saw in the code uh, basically you will mention here the amount Port that you are going to use or the post the port that you are going to open so for example if you are going to use lock port 2000 just simply go localhost and 2000 and normally it will open for you the page since I don't have this port open it will not work normally it's simply gonna be working if I have the normal localhost open because I have a WordPress server working behind it so yeah this is important thing to know so this 5000 is not really something that is fixed on it you simply have to vary it and change it depending on your own post uh, port that you have added uh, otherwise just go here and give it whatever number you want and change that or you can simply just keep it as it is 5000 the example is making 5000 so don't change it just keep it as it is and follow this tutorial as it is and there you go so now you have successfully made a connection or you have added a webhook inside of python so now you are using webhooks with Python. So guys, that was it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I try to give you all the information needed. Thank you guys and see you guys in the next tutorial.